Good evening guys and happy Sunday to all of your sunshiny faces. Well guys, I am going to um, keep today's vlog short because um, <laughs> here's the thing. I told you guys how I was planning on having my aunt's photos done and organized and everything like that over by like this weekend. So, like I want to be done by this weekend. Then I figured I'll be done over the weekend like by the start of next week. Well, um, I definitely could have and should have finished them today. Um, I had like one little stack of like one envelope of photos that was like from maybe around 2005 or so, or probably sometime before 2005. Um, just a little stack that I probably know where it goes. Then also too, I have another stack of photos that I probably maybe need to go back through the old photos and put those ones in there because I didn't like where they were going to go with the other photos that I still had left. So it was like a really easy thing to do. Um, the thing is me and my mom got super distracted talking about like family and stuff like that because as I was going through a handful of the photos, um, I noticed that there were a couple people that I actually didn't have on my family tree. Um, um, that were in these photos and I could identify them and then my mom was able to like confirm she was like oh yeah that's so-and-so from you know like this family or whatever you know um and that's you know so-and-so's cousin or you know again whatever so like she was confirming that for me as I'm like oh you know this makes sense that this might be this person then I was finding actual like legitimate records to back that up like online as well like I found an obituary and like a couple other things too um, that I was able to actually confirm what my mom said and what I had in the photo and, you know, again, to the information that I had, um, you know, as far as, like, records go and things like that, too. Like, I found a census record, I think, as well. So I was able to confirm a lot of this information, which was all stuff that I didn't know before this. A couple of certain dates, too, like date of birth, date of death, like that kind of thing. So I was able to very easily, you know, like, kind of decipher this information based on just the photos that my aunt had, which I was like, this is so awesome awesome that I have, um, you know, like using just the photos and somebody's name written on the back of the photo able to actually go through and look at and then be like, oh my goodness, that's so-and-so and you know, um, and I'm actually finding these, you know, like it's a records to back it up. It's really cool. That's been a huge thing that I've loved to do so much and um, I have been collecting kind of, you know, again, getting my sources of information and like all that kind of stuff and I've been able to really build my family tree. It's really cool though because like my mom and my dad's side of the family, mom on like my grandpa's from my grandpa's side is actually first generation like immigrant born in America because my grandpa actually came over from Scotland. And so that's really cool information to have and find and stuff like that. I have a lot of trouble though actually and have had a lot of trouble finding information on my grandpa's side of the family like on his side because most of the records that are easily accessible and um you know like um i have more information for or free records like census records and things like that um are really only from america without having to pay extra money for like ancestry premium and you know all kinds of other like content and stuff like that um by getting that like having to pay you know like i said for premium stuff like that um, so I don't have a lot of that information and it's the same thing too like I have a good source of information from like any family that's been living in America for a while but anybody beyond that I don't. Some of my relatives um, ancestors they actually um, immigrated to Canada first and then came to America and that was like my great grand grandma's um her father and so um like you know that's my great great grandfather but um he like I said and it wasn't him it was like his like grandparents I think and so I think there was like maybe two or three possibly generations that were living in Canada first and I actually do I think that the census records that like Canadian census records are also easily accessible and for the most part they're free the U.S. only has like I think two census records the most recent one which is 1950 and the one prior to that which was 1940 um and they only are allowed to release census records after so many years but those ones are like free like you can you know go on like you know i don't know census.gov or something like that you know and you can find those records but those are the only ones that are like 
free. Normally if you see any of the other ones from prior, like 1930, 1920, 1910, those ones are normally not um, because, I don't know, they're not digitalized or they were and you can a lot of times get the records if you go through, like my mom did that before really the internet was a thing. My mom got a lot or, you know, or tried to at least look up a lot of information um, on like my great grandpa and I think she has copies of his like um, naturalization papers like that kind of stuff I haven't even seen that on the internet but like a lot of those records are ones that you have to go through like the local government a lot of times to sometimes get those and they don't actually always have those available and I don't exactly know how it works but I think that that's sort of how Ancestry does it in other sites like that where they get those records and then they scan them in and then that's why you have to pay for them because they're not freely accessible to everybody without going and having to ask for that type of information. Um, you know, so like again to like a birth certificate thing or you know like something like that a lot of times you have to have either like proper you know documentation that you were getting that you know or whatever like that kind of stuff too so but for again to things that are like so many years old I think that they are like I said that I know the census records for sure I think they have to be 60 years old or something like that um and every 60 years they'll release the new like you know census records maybe it's 70 years I don't remember but like I said the 1950 census record is now available so I think that is like around 60 years or something it was available a handful of years ago I think in 2020 um I actually got really excited about that that's how big of a history nerd genealogy nerd I am is that I got excited when those new census records <laughs> were going to be available because I knew that that meant I got some more information um, but I haven't actually I haven't done a lot since then I used to go on every few months and like see new you know again hints try and look up more information you know as again too I got more information but going through my aunt's photos really like helped me actually find out a handful of more things that I didn't actually know and it's funny though too because I've been debating whether or not I want to go and actually get a um, like a premium subscription where I'll have access to like everything newspaper clippings you know like all that kind of stuff um but I also don't know if I want to because it is not cheap to get those and I mean for like you can do it like once a month kind of thing but it does like if you end up paying up front for like a six month then it's a lot cheaper than doing it you know singly every single month but you could cancel if you wanted to and it just you know it's a whole you know, subscription thing but I like don't know if I want to do that or not um like I said been toying with that but it would be nice just to be able to gather up all that information and have a lot of it and then you can like it saves all of that but then if your subscription expires you just don't have access to it anymore so then you have to renew the subscription to view that kind of stuff again but again too I think that you know, I've done it all so far, a lot of it with just free, you know, resources that I've had available and also to family information and that kind of stuff too, which is a huge help. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of other stuff that's out there too on the internet that you can, you know, like I said, get and use and just, you know, confirm and use other things to kind of back up what you already have, you know, that kind of stuff. And so, um, you know, like I said, I love doing that and I would love to be able to do it and um, and have a lot more of that information be able to confirm a lot more things that I'm either skeptical on or I'm not sure or I just don't have good records that I'd like to find more of or find more information find more people that I actually don't know be able to go further than I am because like I said you know especially once I don't have anything from like in the United States anymore it's I don't have that information and it's very hard to find stuff like overseas. The funny thing is, like I said, you know, my dad's family who, you know, he's Polish, his family's been here for, again, a few generations, I think three, four, five maybe. Um, but it's actually really cool because what helped me 
in the bulk of the information. I don't have a ton from my dad's dad's side of the family, um, but I have more on my like dad's mom's side of the family from like family records, like information that they already have that were able to give to me because my dad's dad's side of the family, he only had one brother and he never got married and he I, passed away like a while ago, I think probably maybe around or before I was born. And so there's not a lot of other siblings, cousins, like that kind of stuff that would be able to help pass information along as well. Um, and so again, it's kind of hard to find any closer or immediate family on like my grandpa's side of the family. And so, but what I was actually able to find, which was one of the really cool things, I found this a while ago, but um, it was actually a, um, a like copy of a um, Polish newspaper that actually had an obituary in it that I was able to confirm somewhat. And this is where I get into, I'd love to have more access to other stuff as well, but able to confirm a lot of the information I had. The thing is, is that it's all in Polish, which is really cool but um, I don't speak it. My dad is learning it. He knows a little bit, but he still, I don't think, would be able to read much of it. Um, but it was easy to copy the information and then just like and type it out and then be able to translate it. So I was able to use that to find a lot of the information. But like, again, too, on my mom's side of the family, there's nobody over there that like, I mean, my mom's like, you know, part German, Irish, you know, that kind of stuff, but like all speak English, like don't have any like, you know, um, different languages really that they would have had in a newspaper that was in a different language, like just my dad's side of the family, um, which like I said, I think is really, really cool. And, um, you know, I, I didn't think that when I was doing this, I would like come across something like that, but it is cool to like find that and then have to go through more steps to be able to just decipher that and verify that and you know that kind of stuff and translating it and you know all this kind of stuff which like I said I think is really cool and adds to kind of that um, treasure hunts of uh, ancestry kind of and genealogy which is what I love doing and so like I said that's why I've loved going through my aunt's photos it's taken me a very long time but I've loved going through matching up all of her photos and being able to especially the old ones being able to look at those and you know figure out more about like kind of what was the dynamic between those family members and you know um like who were those people like my great grandma and my great aunt they were both really close they were sisters there was actually eight of them in total there were four girls I think four boys and so the two older sisters were a little bit closer and then the two younger sisters who was my great grandma and my great aunt were really close and I knew both of them um, I knew my great aunt actually she had only passed away a handful of years ago um, but like they were really close so because of that obviously those cousins were closer like my grandma and aunt and like then my extended my great aunt's kids as well they were like you know really close and stuff like that so like to see that dynamic is like they were you know really close family members so then their kids grew up very close like that kind of stuff just to like get to see those and kind of see it through photos as well like they took trips together they did things together they were over at a lot more like family parties or casual just like events day-to-day -day kind of things you know like that kind of stuff because they were very close um so you know like I said that's like the cool thing of getting to go through those photos as well and seeing that kind of stuff so I'm going to take a shower and get to bed now um because I got some stuff to do tomorrow and some errands to run and I need to get to some editing I need to finish up the photos that I probably should have finished tonight and not just like delved into going through all of the um like <laughs> family history stuff that I was doing more of but when I found really cool information I really wanted to you know like not forget it or lose it or not be able to go through it at the time when I found it so that's why um <laughs> I didn't completely get it done um it's just like I said a couple more little things that just have to go in a couple more little you know <laughs> envelopes but for the most part it's pretty much done so anyways I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog though if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys